Uh oh. Here comes grammar. Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to my walkthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. This is going to be the next part. Now, if you saw it in the last part, all I did was backtrack to Hogwarts to uh, get some collectibles. Still trying to figure out, like I said, still trying to figure out everything. Um, but yeah. Other than that, um... <sighs> Alright, but let's get to it. But yeah, uh, I was going to record, like, at 6.30, but I tried to activate my new phone. But unfortunately, I don't know if it's because... But, I, I, I guess I'll wait. You know what? Fudge it. Pavilion. 
Sorry about this, guys. Like I said, uh, this, this week has kind of been a little bit rough for me. Like I said, with work and all that. I'm missing the belt. You know what? Okay. So, you know what? I think I'm just gonna do a quest. Because, of course... go Revelia All right so like I said y'all um I'm missing So you know what you know what I'm going to do I'm going to look at This is good. Does anyone care enough to remove my demigod statues? Alohomora.
Revenia. But about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're quite clever. Oh, thank you. A lot of craftsmanship and care went into them. I, I assume. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student. Too cowardly to do it himself. <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demigod statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired to play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. Sounds as if Mr. Moon deserved what he got. But perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. It was an old schoolmate of yours, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I unknown? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks! Oh, we used to laugh about them! <laughs> I laughed the artist of all! Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious! <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend.
am I miss? I got this one. When did I? Oh, okay, I. This had fucking bug.
window. Okay. Thank you. Finding these collectibles is a pain in the ass. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Revelio. Alohomora. Herbie like skeleton. Revelia. of the bone.
Ravenia. My beast. Get this one, I'm gonna be... Revelio. Wow. Okay. Bill Guide. You only forgot this. Watch the tile under your feet. You'll set off a something foul.
Revelio. That's all I ask. Revelio. If you step in the wrong place, they come. Having them all. Ah. Revelio. I think he was hungry. More like he does Rebellion. I'm his best friend. I would think a Puffskin's best friend would be another Puffskin. But I've had him since he was tiny. He doesn't know anything. I'm his friend. Revelio. I didn't hear anything. She was humming again. Oh, that's why you were so bothered. Of course I was bothered. It's enough trying to memorize dates for bins without being pounded by a horrible tune that Peeves likely made up. Oh, I knew I'd heard it somewhere. That's where it's from. <laughs> Galleons and a historian's uniform. It was brilliant solving those old treasure maps.
Revelio. Next composition took some practice.
I heard you did quite well in Brattleby's dueling club. Revelia. Alohomora. Rebellion. Pavelio.
these collectibles are a little bit difficult. Not gonna lie. I feel like I'm missing. I'll miss you. Really? I shan't miss you. Oh, stop. I'm trying to be serious for once. This one. missing one I don't even know where the fuck I'm missing which one I'm fucking missing Revelia This is a bit of a pain in the ass. You know what, fuck. It's fucking stupid. Revelia. You'd think no incel. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. 
Lord Gok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumours I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood? It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression.
Good to see you outside the castle. You too, I'll meet. Pavelio. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Hello, Lord Gok. Sirona said I might find you here. Did she did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am, and I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Serona trusts me, and she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Hogwarts. Any of you know where I can find some leaping toadstools? Going to harvest some knockgrass from the greenhouse. My guy, guys. You've got okay, so I got basically everything in the astronomy wing, but <sighs> okay, so I get it. So I did a stupid. Actually, wait. Let me look at Hogwarts.
I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Earth. watching this I hope y'all are I'm still trying to get The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today.
his wife. Ah, and there it is, the witch's tomb. Oh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? Revelio. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Ertgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else, a symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. I don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb. Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain. Moths. Curious. Lumos. Revenia. Merlin's beard. the witches too. Likely only to go further. Revelio.
Revenia. Lumos. Revelio. Oh, I have a feeling I'm not alone oh, here. Boy. Oh well, zombie. Rebellion. Hmm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Accio! Levioso! Repairer! Lumos. Form closer, but how? Revelio.
What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion.
looks even more complex. Lumos. Lumos. Incendio. Witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Revelia. A dead Ashwinder. The compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lodgok won't like this. Better show this to Lodgok. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway.
Lodcock, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. That's it. This is for Rookwood. I'll make you wish you were back at school. That's the best you can do. Come on, too afraid to fight back. My wand. Celibate. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, oh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. 
It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Eloise, you be careful now. Yeah, but whoever's watching this, um, basically, like, getting some of these collectibles will be a little bit difficult. Because I think some of them I might have to get during, like, quests. Hogs mean and sell stuff real quick. But yeah, some of these collectibles I probably won't be able to get unless if it's like off on another adventure. Oh. If you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts. But she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Expect you have a sharp eye. Be sure. Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a, a knapsack. knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack 
and where? Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Revelio. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernal, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready.
Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts, or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income, to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts, where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Okay, Al. What was what happened above? Capture beast. No, I did beast class, but I'm learning how to t uh, capture beasts by talking to Deke. I am literally a honey. Shh. Well, I rescued me, a job. I'm trying to get the Deke hopes your job okay. and all finds the knapsack oh. nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. I go need... I go need teleport with a moon. All right, Deke. What's the point of getting these beasts? Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I shall go and find a mooncalf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. And we super Rebellion. Those moon caps. <gasps> oh my god, they're adorable.
Oh my god, did a, a how never this. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! Oh, heaven. You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. It's a house. Meet you inside when you're ready. Amazing! Where are we, Deke? 
It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Deke thinks perhaps you didn't know Deke was near. with bird. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an A loom? enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Do we?
came out nicely. I should show Deke. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. All right, let's see if I can try to get more pots. Like the heavy pots. Hello there. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rag's promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye. Be 
Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. I suspect you have a sharp eye. Be sure to stop by. Hello, Samantha. Are you here for Summoner's Court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother, until... Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Do better than that. Akio! than that. How about that? I won! Well, whatever. Good match. Care to have another go? But of course. Splendid! You have 
have to do better than that. You are here! Do better than that. Good match. Care to have another go? But of course. Splendid. Better than that. Akio. You have to do better than that. Akio. better than that. Good match. Care to have another go? But of course. Splendid. Better than that. Akio! Yes! <laughs> How am I to top that? Akio! Care to have another go? But of course. Splendid! Akio! What was I thinking? You have to do better than that. Akio! Yes! <laughs> Akio! Sensation. 
Sensational. Good match. Care to have another go? Perhaps another time. Suit yourself. I shall be here when you're ready. I have to be again. Samantha, about Summoner's Court. I'll try not to beat you too badly this time. Ready? Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Akio! Better than that. Accio! What was I thinking? That was sensational. Accio! won't do. A rematch then. Good match. Care to have another go? Perhaps another time. Suit yourself. I shall be here when you're ready. Samantha, about Summoner's Court. I'll try not to beat you too badly this time. Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let... Akio! Yes! <laughs> Akio! Okay. Sorry about that, guys. You know what? I guess I'll do this sub -qu side quest in the next. As much as I want to do it, I have. I'm gonna be busy. Like I said, I'm gonna be busy all week. Being that I just got my new phone, I gotta see how to freaking activate it. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the next part of Hogwarts. Like I see, if you're watching me, which you can follow me at Twitch dot Twitch dot slash Elite Type Gaming to stay tuned to all my content. And um. Oh shit. And, um, you know, if you have anything to comment, please be calm, be respectful, no negativity, trolling, or harassment. Um, and of course, if you're watching me on YouTube, you can hit that like button, comment on how I'm doing with the game. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. And please be respectful and positive, no negativity, trolling, or harassment. And stay tuned to my what. And subscribe to my channel to stay tuned to all my amazing games. And I'll be uploading, uploading and streaming.